real fight! Out of my way! Out of my way! Out of my way! Out of my way! That was fun! Nicholas, you okay? Fate, why are you here? That's what I want to ask you. You should never have run off like that. The music box parts, I wanted to get them back. I, I could not ask you to do this for us. But that's crazy. It is dangerous here. You must leave. Quickly. He'll get you. Nicholas? Hang in there, Nicholas. You must leave. This is bad. I better hurry. Think. Think. Oh, yeah. I could short the battery in my communicator, or... Wait. I might be stuck here if I lose my yeah. communicator. What am I thinking? There's no time! Hold on, Nicholas! I'll get you out!
Hang in there, Nicholas. He doesn't seem too badly hurt. That's a relief. Huh? Oh, right. My translator was built into that communicator. No time for regrets now. We better get out of here. Let's go. Freeze! No funny moves if you want to stay alive. Play nice and I'll let you live a little longer. That was a phase gun, so you must be Norton. Yeah, that's me. I am Norton the Great. <laughs> it's so nice to hear genuine turn being spoken, huh? Seems like ages. Why are you here? You're not from this planet, are you? I'm from Razor, boy. We're not part of the Federation. Razor? I've heard of that one. Right. That planet filled with joy seekers that keeps rejecting Federation membership. So what are you doing here? This is an underdeveloped planet, you know. Not much to tell. I uh, was involved in this uh, unfortunate accident. Guess it was a bit much even for Razor, so I was sentenced to spend the rest of my days in exile on a deserted planet. But the escort ship they were transporting me on had engine trouble and ended up crash landing here. Can you believe it? All I had to do was mess with their engine codes. Those stupid pilots ended up frying their engines. Oh, man! All I was trying to do was create a distraction so I could make my escape. But we ended up crashing and this planet's become my prison. And the others, Norton? Huh? That's Lord Norton to you. There must have been others. What happened to the other people on the escort ship? Oh, those guys? They're dead. They were trying to send out a distress signal, and a bolt of lightning smote them where they stood. Bam! <laughs> that crash part was unfortunate. But no use crying over spilt milk. I've been devoting myself to making this planet my kingdom. You get my drift? So that's why you've been raiding Whipple? Yeah, something like that. You're a smart kid. That's why I was raiding the village, and that's why you gotta die. Sorry. You'll be happy to know I'm gonna make the most of those parts I stripped from your escape pod. It's guys like you. Huh? What the? Ah, uh, there you are. I thought I lost you when your distress signal went out. Might never have found you if it weren't for those explosions. What do you want? You're not one of them Federation guys, are you? Who, me? A Federation soldier? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Well then, who are you? Cliff Fitter. A Clausian and member of Quark. A Clausian? Sorry, no time to explain. I'm kinda in a hurry. Just let me have fate, that Earthling boy over there, and I'll be on my way. I don't plan on butting into whatever you got going on over here. How do you know my name? Let's not sweat the details. Suffice it to say, you're my man. Hold it right there, or I'll blast you! Huh? <laughs> you talking to me? You think you could fool me? There's no way a Clausian would come here. 
You're probably some sort of spy. It's so obvious. <laughs> Look, since I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna fill you in on a little secret. That gun you have there has no effect on us Clausians. You didn't know that? Shut your pie hole! Alright, I'm done lecturing. Time to teach you a lesson. Here I go! Bring it on! Well, so much for that guy. But I did try to warn him. I've heard the physical abilities of Clausians far outstrip those of Earthlings, but man. And he said Quark. Wasn't that an anti-Federation group? Looks like I overdid it. Should have held back a little bit. Well, this is about the only thing that still works. The rest is ruined. Is this... a communicator? Can't live without one. I can't figure out why you wouldn't have one with you. Uh... um... Thanks for getting me out of that mess. You saved my life. Whoa there. Don't go thanking me yet. You see, I've come to abduct you. What? Now, don't get all worked up. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. It's just... my boss wants to meet you. That's why I came all the way out here to find you. Boss? You mean Quark's boss? That's right. Our leader wants to see you. But you've sure made it a tough job. First, I went to Haida and ran into that mess thanks to you. Then, I get here and find you poking your nose into matters better left alone. You make it sound like it was my fault Haida got attacked. Jeez. Just kidding. Don't sweat it. At any rate, I got you now. And I did rescue you, so no complaining. And besides, you want to see your old man, don't you? He's been captured by the Vendini. Dad? But why? Hey, don't ask me. All I know is your old man was abducted from the evacuation facility on Haida. What about my mother? And Sophia? Well, we know your mom's safe. She should have already arrived at remote station number six. I don't know about the girl. I've had my hands full just trying to track down your escape pod. How do you know all this? What else do you know? Not much else. Sorry. Oh yeah, I do know what your old man Dr. Leingod was researching. You mean symbological genetics? 
My dad's an authority in that field, so it's no surprise you've heard of him. Right. Symbological genetics. And 19 years ago... Ah, uh, never mind. That doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Come on. You don't have any other way off this planet, do you? Look, I'm sure things will clear up if you just come with me. Besides, you'll be able to see your old man again. But according to you, my father's been captured by Vendine. So how could I possibly see him? Simple. Quark will go rescue your old man, too. Why would an anti-Federation group want to help my father? Well, tell you what, it's kind of complicated. Let's not get into that right now. So... Are you coming or not? Okay. I'll go with you. But could we stop by Whipple first? I want to make sure the boy gets back there safely. Sure. Whatever. But I still think you shouldn't have gotten involved. There. Everything's back to normal, huh? You're wrong. Things aren't back to normal. Nicholas and Mina's parents are gone forever. Wait, I'll go easy on you. What do you think you're doing? Out of 
my way! That was easy! Don't worry, he's just asleep. He wouldn't leave you alone, Mina. Really? Really?
Ready? Yeah. All right. Now, you remember that cliff near your escape pod? Our way out lies beyond there. Let's go. Okay. It's me. We're at the location. Transport us up as soon as you can. Huh? Oh, no problem. I got him. I said it's okay. I haven't done anything. Yeah, I know. Now hurry up and get us out of here. My ship will be here soon. Once we're ready, it's good riddance to this hunk of rock. My ship's not so big, but it's packing a gravitic warp engine. It's quite the speed demon. Hey, Cliff? Yeah? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? Why does Quark's leader want to meet with me? I'm just a college student from Earth! Oh, uh... No comment. <laughs> That's, uh... It's not doing it for you, is it? No, it's not. Let's see. Well... I guess the biggest reason would be, our leader wants to chat with you? Nice try, but that's avoiding the question. Why's your leader want to meet with me? Hey, how should I know? I just do what I'm told. There's probably something our leader wants to talk to you about. And that something is? Well, you'll just have to come with me and find out for yourself. Sorry, kid, but I, I don't know much more than that. Let's get a move on. She'll be expecting us. 
The rendezvous point is Beta 747372406. You got that, Mirage? Roger. Engaging conventional engines, gravitic warp core, normal. Welcome back. Sorry to keep you waiting. This is my navigator and partner in crime. I leave the day-to-day -day operation of the ship to her. Mirage, this is our target. Yes, I knew right away. Nice to meet you, Fate. I'm Mirage Kos. N nice to meet you, too. She's beautiful. Hey, you okay? Oh, and listen, don't fall for her. She may look pretty, but she's a clausy. Any funny ideas, and you're liable to meet a swift yet painful death. Hey, wait a sec. Who said I was falling for anyone? Relax, I was just warning you. I was wondering, just how long will it take till we get to your leader? Oh, uh, we'll be there soon. It's about three hours to the rendezvous point. Mirage, I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm leaving you in charge. Oh, Cliff, it looks like you can forget that shower. Huh? What is it? I've just detected a gravitic space anomaly up ahead. I'm bringing us out of gravitic space to avoid it. You serious? You think it's hostile? Two Vendini battleships detected 400,000 kilometers ahead. An ambush, huh? Man, it's bad enough having to worry about Federation ships. Open up a comm link. Hold on. Connection confirmed. Okay, the link's open. Uh... <clears throat> this is the Eagle, a Clausian ship. We don't want any trouble with you. You're wasting your time. The enemy ships are already prepared to attack. Seems they know who we've got on board. Escape's our only hope. It'll be tough without using gravitic warp, but we've got no choice. Reverse course. Conventional engines, full power. Roger. Full power to rear shields. And let me see a chart for this region. Course 116, Mark 267. Activate auto evasion program. Fasten crew safety harnesses. Roger. Course entry complete. Speed maximum. Program activated. Hey, feeling lucky, kid? Round one from the enemy's disruptor cannon. Nearing objective point. All right. As soon as we're there, go into gravitic warp. Click. Gravitic warp is currently non-functional. I got a hunch it'll function the moment we reach the objective point. Get us on a straight line between the ships and that planet. Then pop us up star side. We'll open up the distance that way. But we won't be able to designate our warp destination. Well, we're toast if we stay here, Mirage. Anyhow, space is big, right? Our odds ain't that bad. You got a hunch? Roger. The enemy's fired again. Four rounds now approaching. Four, oh, huh? This is gonna be close. Either we enter gravitic warp first or we get pumped. Now's the time to pray, gentlemen. Unfortunately, it looks like we might lose the race. Here comes the first round now, and we're seven seconds from objective point. Ah, who cares if we take a few rounds? Warp our butts out of here! Warp engine damaged, but still functioning. You bet it is! Activate Gravitic Warp!
thrown off the Vendini ships. Phew! That was close. Yes, but now we're pretty far from the rendezvous point. Well, it can't be helped. Besides, it won't hurt to make her wait a little longer. Let's take our time. Wow, your hunch really paid off. Finally, some respect. Yeah, a healthy respect for your recklessness. What is that supposed to mean? A little more honesty would be nice. Like, hey, that cliff sure is something. Or, you're a genius, Cliff. Sorry to interrupt while you're having so much fun. What is it, Mirage? The gravitic warp core is overheating. We should reduce speed immediately. The engine will scram if we don't. What? Didn't I specifically request that you tell me these things sooner? Get back to conventional space, pronto. Roger. Bad news. Now what? Both the conventional and gravitic warp engines have scrammed. The backup engine isn't functioning either. I'd say we have a problem. Damn it! Where are we now? We're currently within Elicor 2's gravitational field. If all our energy sources are shot, then we can't communicate either. Well, I'm sure she'll figure out something happened to us after we don't show up when we're supposed to. One would hope so. Well, Mirage, come up with something. I'll see what I can do. What can we do? Aren't all the engines scrammed? For starters, we gotta land before we crash. Then, we wait to be rescued. Great plan. Look, my mission is to bring you to our leader. Until then, I'll watch out for you. Trust me. You're as safe as... Uh, as a turtle in its shell. A turtle dropping out of orbit? Huh? Did you say something? Nothing. We'll be entering into Elicor 2's atmosphere in another 30 seconds. Get ready for a bumpy ride, you two. And keep wagging those tongues and you'll bite them off. I wouldn't want either of you to die of blood loss. Roger. Yes, ma'am. City. Not to mention we're out of power, and the helm is out of whack. You should be happy to be alive. <sighs> I guess this is no time to be worrying about the UP-3. What do we do now?
You there! Move! Out of the way! Off the road! What's this? One of Aquarius' new weapons? Just a second. Even minimal contact with the inhabitants of an underdeveloped planet will get us in trouble. Besides, we have no idea what they'll do to us once we're out there. You got any better ideas? I hate to point this out, but I think we've already made contact. Rather forcefully, anyway. Well, still. They won't kill us right away. Another hunch? Come on, trust me. Didn't we make it here safely? I tell you, my hunches are always right. How about that time when we almost crashed into that asteroid because of that hunch? Oh, but that was one time. One time. At any rate, I don't think we have any other choice. What do you think they'll do? be taken prisoner. You say it like you don't even care. Yeah, but only you and I will. Huh? What about Mirage? We'll have Mirage wait until later to make an escape. Mirage, stay until nightfall, then leave under the cover of darkness. Right. That shouldn't be a problem. But Mirage? All alone? <laughs> You're forgetting. She's a closet. She'll be fine. I pity the soldier that tries to take her. Want me to come rescue you? Nah, no need. There'll probably be too many of them anyway. We'll think of something. You scout around and find a way to contact the Dimple. Don't put yourself in danger trying to hook up with us. They should be able to home in on our position as long as we make contact. They can come get us then. Roger. All right, time to go. Fate, be careful. Thanks. You too, Mirage. Cliff. I said it'll be okay. I'm counting on you. Okay. Be careful. What was it? We believe it to be a new Aquarian weapon, Your Majesty. We have the two crew members locked up in the dungeon. Very well. Continue with your investigation and step up the pace of the invasion of Arias. If the enemy has indeed brought a new weapon into active service, then time is of the essence. Your Majesty. What think you, Walter? If this object that has fallen on our city is truly a new Aquarian weapon, then we are in trouble. Aquaria has shown an admirable ability to wage war of late. Lord Waltar appears to lack confidence. Harry Glyph has your Storm Brigade cavalry, Albel's Black Brigade heavy cavalry, and my winged Dragon Brigade for good measure. 
They stand no chance against our Legion, sire. Their weapons have proven themselves little threat to us. Anything they throw at us, we return in spades. Pride comes before the fall. Surely a measure of prudence would do us no harm. Right, Albel? <laughs> if they're the enemy, we kill them. If they aren't, we dispose of them. Simple. If only things were as simple as you say. Regardless, we have yet to see any evidence the object is a new Aquarian weapon. My men have already begun to interrogate the crew members. They'll talk before long. The Inquisitor. He always seems to enjoy his work a bit too much. He is the best. As long as they do not die before they talk. We are not barbarians. Even prisoners have certain rights. You speak absurdities. Prisoners have no rights. We'll hurt them until they squeal. If they die as a result, then so be it. You've grown much too soft in your old age, Volta. Compared to you, that may be true. I'm willing to do what's necessary, but I think your men have a tendency to take things too far. What's the big deal? Just find out whether they're enemies or not. If that's too much trouble, I'll be happy to take care of them. We know what we have to do, my lord. Don't worry. If we do kill them, you'll make sure they cough before they croak, eh? I certainly hope so. That will be quite enough. Now is not the time for us to haggle over such matters. Indeed, it is not. Vox, continue your interrogation. Woltar and Albel, return to your posts. We are counting on your knights. You are the pride of our great kingdom. Yes, yes sir. sir. Why don't you just spit it out? Play nice and we'll treat you right. That thing you were riding, what was that? A new Aquarian weapon, eh? Aquaria? Answer the question! <clears throat> Yo, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Ah, uh, ouch. You don't look fine. Look who's talking. Well, yeah, but I'm more used to torture than you are. Because you're a member of an anti-federation organization. You could say I've been around. Hey, you held up pretty well, though. What could I do? It's not like they'd believe me if I told them I came from outer space. Good point. Why'd you let them catch you anyway? I mean, you could have gotten away, right? Huh? Nah, it would have been too much of a hassle. A hassle? Yeah, a pain in the butt. I couldn't just leave you there anyway. And I kind of wanted to see what was going on firsthand. So, you find anything out? As a matter of fact, I did. What? 
The whips on this planet hurt, too. Very funny. Say, do you know what Aquaria is? Aquaria? The interrogator kept mentioning it. He kept referring to the eagle as a new Aquarian weapon. Huh. Must be the name of their enemy. So what? They think we're spies? I'm thinking you got that right. <sighs> These restraints are pretty solid. <sighs> Damn! They're too tight! I can't move at all! Um, that's why they call them restraints? Don't bother me with semantics, kid. How are we gonna get out of these? Do you think Mirage got away okay? Ah, she'll be fine. Like I told you, she's a Clausian. <laughs> I bet she snuck off into town a long time ago. I hope you're right. Ugh. How am I supposed to rescue my dad trapped like this? I don't know why the Vendini captured him, but I doubt they're showing him much hospitality. Hey, cheer up. Somebody will show up to spring us out of this place soon enough. Then we'll be on our way. You'll see. And who would that somebody be? You told Mirage she shouldn't bother coming in after us. And it's not like we know anybody else. And I doubt your leaders found out about what happened to us yet. They're here already. What? Who? Huh? Friend or foe? I don't know, but there's somebody here. Hey! You have two options. Accept my conditions and live, or refuse and die here. It's your choice. Huh? What kind of options are those? The correct choice should be obvious. So what are your conditions? I want your help, that's all. Our help? That's right. You two were riding that lump of metal that fell on the town, correct? We want your technology. Our technology? We can't let you have that. Why not? Why not? Well... I can't tell her about the UP3. How am I gonna explain this? And what would you do with our technology if we gave it to you? We'd use it to end the war that rages between this country and mine. With our side victorious, of course. Hold on a minute. Your country? So, you're not one of the people that threw us in here? No, I'm not from Aeriglyph. I'm from Aquaria. Aquaria? The interrogator kept mentioning that name. Makes sense now. If you've been interrogated, I wouldn't think you'd have any particular loyalty to Aeriglyph. Why not help me? Good point. We'll help you. What are you saying? Give us a moment, all right? Shut your trap, kid. But she wants our technology. What were you planning on teaching them? Come on, you saw the civilization's level of technology? Look, all they need is a little college physics. And I don't know about you, kid, but I was paying attention in class. You're right about that, but what about the UP3? Man, what a square. Then again, maybe that's your redeeming feature, huh? Straight as an arrow, just like... well... Just like who? Huh? Did I say something? Never mind, kid. I'm minding. Jeez, forget about it. Listen, based on what she said, we must be in Aeriglyph right now. And this place is at war with her country, Aquarius with me so far? Yeah. Good. Okay. Both sides think we have some kind of unknown technology. Well, that makes sense. A big flying metal thing did land in the middle of a medieval town. What else could they think? Even if we don't cooperate with her, Aeriglyph will want our help too. I doubt their terms will be any better. Yeah, but... So what I'm saying is, if we're going to cooperate with someone, it might as well be that hot chick over there. Know what I mean? I 
can't believe this. You're insane. Well, okay, let's say that was a joke. Either way, we can do whatever we want once we're out of this place. We'll just wait for our chance and make a run for it. We're not doing much better here in prison with our hands all in shackles. And if we die here, who's gonna rescue your dad, huh? I figured you'd want to meet him in this life, not the next. All right. You win, for now. boy. All right, we've discussed it. We'll help you. Now get us out of here. Then we have a deal. Step back from the bars. she just do? You're free. Thanks for getting us out of there. Now, uh, can you use that little trick of yours to get these off us, too? Don't move. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. No thanks needed. I'm just doing my job. But I'm going to hold you to your part of the bargain. Huh? You said you'd cooperate with us. Don't think you can just wait for your chance to run either, because I won't let you. If you try, I'll kill you. Gah. Hey, she hurt us. I should thank you for calling me hot, though chick I can live without. Scary. I'm Nell Zelfer, agent for the Sacred Kingdom of Aquaria. My name's Fate Line God, and this is... Cliff Fitter. Fate and Cliff. My pleasure. So, where are you from? And what is the metal thing you came here in? What do we tell her? Just follow my lead. I'll handle Sure. We're from a country on a continent far to the east of here. It's a pretty small country, so nobody's really heard of it. But we've got some pretty solid technology. From the east? One of the countries in Greeton? Not the country that invaded Aquaria. That what you call it here? Yeah, that's where we're from. We're engineers. What are engineers from Greeton doing in Aeriglyph? Well, the long story would take all day, so I'll give you the short version. Fate's dad got uh, captured by an enemy country. We were on our way to rescue him in this newly developed uh, vehicle, but it broke down on the way. And we ended up here. I see. Wow, he sure is a smooth talker. And not all of it is lies, either. So you are from Greeton. I thought as much. How so? There is no country on this continent with that level of technology. It was an easy conclusion. Well, you satisfied? More or less. What I am sure of is there's no way we can let Aeriglyph have you. You must cooperate with us. Nell, that's your name, right? Yes. What do you mean by cooperate? What technology did you want exactly? Yes, well... What's going on down here? Hey, you... What? They're changing the guard already? You two, you have any fighting experience? Huh? Why? Because you're about to get some. Don't you worry about us. You could say we're above average. You might be able to fight with your bare hands, but I need some kind of weapon. I thought this might happen. In there. What's this? Your stuff. I got it back for you. Great. Thanks. One more thing. Fate, right? You can't go around dressed like that. I don't know if the size will match or not. Anyway, put those on. Uh, thank you.
we go, guys. Get him out of my way! out a bit. We'll just have to squeeze through that first part. Yeah, yeah. Faye, you go first. I'll bring up the rear. Where are we? We're in the aqueducts that wind their way under the city. Aqueducts, huh? Hey, it's all frozen over. This comes as a surprise to you? It is winter in Aeryglyph. Didn't you see the snow falling outside? Hmm, huh, good point. Careful. You're no good to us if you fall in the water and freeze to death. Scary. Let's get moving. This way leads to the city if we can make it through. Ah! 